Hello and welcome back to another video by Jay Madden. Today we're going to be talking about the tank build. It's day number two. So since the last video I made a whole bunch of clips and stuff but the majority of them got corrupted. So I'm going to go ahead and just start you here. Got the tank filled up. You missed that but it's filled. We've got three gallons worth of vinegar, distilled white vinegar running in the system. Uh, it's the following morning. Uh, what I've got going on here is I have a lot of the different pumps and things soaking in vinegar as well. And I've been scrubbing the heck out of the sump. Uh, it was just coated in coralline algae from the 60 gallon tank. Uh, there's a skimmer, pump for the skimmer, and some other various things in the bucket uh, over here at the sump. Uh, you can see one of the things that I do is I'll start in the left side, clean it, put a pump in there so it forces all the water to the next chamber, and then it forces all the water to the next one. This keeps all the particles suspended, and right now all the particles are pretty much in the main display and go down into the filter sock. Uh, what you have here is I've got the plumbing, the drains and returns all plumbed up. They're about 90% done. I don't have any hose clamps on them yet, but I kind of rigged up that drain on the right there, as you can see, with some zip ties temporarily just to get water flow into the system. Here's the little contraption that I made that I showed you in the previous video that I was going to make with the one inch union and the slip slip female T, the 90 degree elbows to accommodate my two drains you know, down to one drain. It's working really well. Water flow through the system is pretty much right where I want it so I can get some good skimming. Went ahead and dropped the maxi jet down here behind the overflow and removed one of my drain pipes. And I just let it run for a while to try and get whatever little particles of sand and other junk down into the filter sock. So right here we've go ahead and I'll show you. I uh, started draining the tank, just siphoning it out. Uh, one of the nice things about where this tank is located is uh, just to the left of it, I have a sliding glass door out to my patio, and this makes it really easy, and it's going to be real easy in the future to do water changes and things like that just based on the location. I've got a Coralia inside here that I'll be turning on as the water level gets lower to help keep all the little particles suspended so they just get siphoned out because uh, those are the pieces that didn't get down to the filter sock and I don't feel like messing with them once the tank is drained down all the way to the bottom. So as you can see here, the tank is still draining. It took about close to 20 minutes for this tank to drain. Uh, the hose is pretty long and it had a lot of loops and bends in it. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. The next video we'll start getting to finalizing all the plumbing, getting everything tidied up, as well as getting some electronics installed. Thanks for watching. Many more updates still to come. Enjoy your tanks and happy reefing.